day of help. John Holmes once said, There's no exercise better for the heart than reaching down and lifting people up. The depth of neglect and immeasurable needs of persons with disability led Reverend Steve Mensah, the president of Day of Help, and his executive leaders to institute the Day of Help in August 2015, where a day in the year was set aside to attend to the needs of persons with disabilities. Initially, the magnitude of the population and the extent to which resources were stretched made it imperative to segment it the following and subsequent years. 2020 is the fifth year since Day of Hell began. It was and has been such a large and capital intensive program. It has been organized twice at the Independence Square in Accra, then to Tamale in the third year. The fourth was held in Kumasi, and this fifth year, Day of Help is coming back to the Independence Square in Accra. This is an event where many gift items such as packs of rice, gari, beans and sugar, toiletries, assorted drinks, cups and plates are arranged in a plastic bucket and given to each person. Meanwhile, persons with albinism the physically challenged, the blind and autistic receive extra gifts which really takes care of their disabilities such as sunshades, wheelchairs, white kings and mattresses. As you can tell on your screen, it is giving galore persons with disabilities come through to receive free mattresses. Free clothes distribution. Taking all I have now. Free food packages. You'll have every failure, God. You'll have every victory. It's unbelievable how persons with disabilities throng for the items. Receive free wheelchairs. The team members are always there to assist the beneficiaries throughout the collection points. To crown it all, doctors, nurses, paramedics, ophthalmologists and other health practitioners are brought to the venue to take care of the medical needs of persons with disabilities.
persons with disabilities receive free physiotherapy treatment. They were also given free drugs from the pharmacy. Thousands of volunteers from the Charismatic Evangelistic Ministry and Allied Churches are invited to help with the work during this program. Reaching out to the basic needs of these unique people and showing the love of God is a hallmark of Day of Help. During this five-year period of supporting persons with disability, we have had the honor of Pastor Matthew Ashimolo supporting in cash and in person, Bishop Doug Heward Mills donating thousands of wheelchairs and cash and joining in person. Pastor Wale Olulana supporting in cash and in person. Pastor Gregory Toussaint supporting in cash and in person. And Honorable Cynthia Morrison contributing cash and joining in person. Join us as we have a chit chat with some important personalities of the program. These people are part of us. They are our brothers, our sisters. What they feel, we feel. Their pain is our pain, and their joy is our joy, and it is interesting. Many of them don't want to be pitied. We are not pitying them. When we were having celebration and dance, they danced more than those who had better legs. So we celebrate them today. want to remove beggars from the streets of Ghana, we want to remove those who are sleeping under cardboards and all that, and give them a decent place to stay, accommodation, and then should be able to uh, uh, do something, acquire a skill. So the village is going to train people to acquire skills, coding, uh, into marketing, into computer, and so many things. We have a whole number of things that we are going to do at the village. Uh, we wish that uh, we had more wheelchairs for more people who are crawling on the ground. That's the only regret we have. Because a lot of taxes on the wheelchairs. And right now we want to import 10,000 wheelchairs into the country for disabled people. We are overwhelmed. They've come from everywhere, from every corner, from every hole. We have seen all kinds of persons with disability, the, one, the ones we can't even imagine. I mean, the numbers, we are overwhelmed. And where they are coming from, and we can imagine that we have such people who are so much disabled and they are in our country here. We cannot even monitor the people because of its vastness, the sort of people that are involved. But thank God for our people, our team members, who have made things very easy for us because they are all working in their various sectors. We have trained them. My brother has also schooled them very well and has taught them what to do and they have stuck to the plan and it's working for us very well. Um, I would encourage that all churches watch this thing. I'm praying that it should be shown on the national television over and over again so that churches will watch. Our tithes and our offerings should go into things like this. And for my um, sisters and brothers who are here, I'm just encouraging them that disability is not inability. It doesn't matter the type of child. Any of us can be disabled at any time. It's just unfortunate that they were born like this. But we should not relegate them. We should not make them less human. We should know that they are part of us and they will continue to be part of us because that is creation of God. But all I'm saying is that I thank Charismatic Evangelist and Ministry for this gesture that you have done. I am so thrilled and I'm praying that all churches will emulate this. The needs just keep coming. You have seen piles and piles of mattresses just now. 
I mean, this whole ground was piled up with mattresses up to the height of the truck behind me. And we've given them all out. We've given over 3,000 mattresses here today. The scripture says, birds have nests, foxes have holes, said the son of man have nowhere to lay his head on. The thing I know about Reverend Steve, his heart breaks when he sees people who are in need. The other day we were asking him what actually led to the vision of the day of hell. And he talked about the fact that he just saw people, himself and his brother, they just saw people who were, who were just feeding only disabled people who had been handed out drinks and food. And their heart went out to people who have no one to look at them. People you walk past on the street, people who sleep at the corridors of the, of the shops, in the city places, you can make a difference, you can do something. God can use you to transform someone's life. Well, perhaps the most important thing that struck me today is um, how the people were desperate just to find a mattress. Um, so that really spoke to my heart. Um, it shows, first of all, how, how blessed we are just to have a place to sleep or a mattress to sleep on. And secondly, how much the, the little things that we, can, we do can meet a, mean a lot for other people. I'd encourage um, uh, those who, uh, who are thinking about partnering. This is one of the best initiatives that you can take. You are sowing directly into the lives of people and uh, you are seeing the expression on their face and you are expressing the love of Christ. So I would encourage everyone um, to join and uh, be a partner and let's, let us make a great impact for the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it's been very, very, very mind-blowing, overwhelming. And uh, initially, when I was coming, I thought it was going to be the usual uh, thing that goes on. But this one is one of a difference. It was as early as 6.30 a.m. when we got here, the middle was almost full. That shows how needy the people are and desperately wanting the help that we, we are bringing them. And I'm so thankful to God that we are part of this, we are part of this mission to, to extend help to these people with disabilities. This is the time that we don't say that I belong to Kairos Chapel, he belongs to World Outreach, he belongs to Divine Healers, he belongs to that. And it's about time we come together as one body and feed the world with the love of Christ. The things we have seen here, we are me, I never seen it before anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. And with a great inspiration, it was, it was it is a demonstration of real love. Give him food, mattresses, everything. And this happened not in one day. It's a building of 30 years of ministry. They start with a little, small, small beginning and by their faithfulness, their loyalty to the call of God, they'll reach this dimension. God will use this ministry to impact all the world and it will be a new way of evangelism. Preaching the gospel, pray for sick people, demonstrating by miracle, powerful and action of compassion. Remember, the opportunity is here again for us to show the love of God to our brethren within the disability community. All are invited as we put our strength and resources together to be a blessing. God bless you as you do this. It's a day of help. What can you do to help? Christ to the rural world, reaching out, transforming lives. I'm